Good morning traders, Richard here doing quick Ichimoku cloud chart market review of the Xetradax index. Let's start with the really big picture, the monthly cloud. After a nice strong rally in the uh, third and fourth quarter and uh, first and second quarter of, of this year, the DAX then ran into the old uh, highs of 2021 resistance zone, struggled to get past that, also became quite extended from the top end of the cloud on the monthly and is now consolidating much of the, uh, this is kind of like almost a 50% retracement of this entire move. So on the monthly, pulling back to a little bit more reasonable levels, uh, considering that the uh, price action between the top end of the cloud and the highs, they are quite wide, and that gives an idea that the market is going to pull back a little bit after becoming quite extended from the top end of the cloud. Now, looking at the weekly Ichimoku, in the last update, we were struggling here with the upside resistance. Uh, resistance held, tap started to open as it crossed through the turning line there, then sold off right down to find support at the standard line only to rally back up to run into trouble at the 16,000 resistance zone and that's also a resistance zone created by the turning line of the cloud and then we had a cloud to our sell signal and then the taps started to open. Now the index failed to find support at the front end of the cloud here, that zone as well as this old cloud chart support level there and these highs failed there sold off aggressively now fighting for support at the top end of the cloud here and there's downside risk on the weekly towards let me just highlight that line there. This cloud chart support level. So 14,347 is a key level to watch out for. That zone there, as well as this zone here, is 14,065. And that zone there coincides well with this front end cloud chart support level. So there's a cluster of support in between this 14,531. This uh, top end of the cloud here at 14,400. The front end of the cloud here, yeah, so it's getting close to a key support zone on the, the weekly Ichimoku. So could see a potential rebound at these levels if support comes in, but it's quite a wide range. So there's still some further downside, a couple hundred points in the Xetra DAX, but it's getting closer to key support zones now on the weekly Ichimoku. Just to note, there's been both a cloud chart sell signal up here as well as a MACD and Stochastics uh, SMI Stochastic Momentum Index sell signal at the top end of the cloud there. So pretty nice short there on the Xetradax. That worked out quite well. Now let's go and take a look at the daily Chimoku. You can see there, slice through the cloud. Then the price action entered bearish territory. Price action below the cloud is bearish. And then the top end of the cloud, yeah, that became a key short selling resistance zone. Every time we rebounded from key support zones, we were met with selling pressure at the top end cloud chart resistance level. You can see that 16,000 became quite a significant one. Been tested one, two, three, and the fourth time the tap stopped, opened up and it started to correct. I then struggled to find uh, support yet yeah, this cloud chart level there. Let me pop, pop a line in there. Hold on. So it's at 15.574. It then tried to find support at the 15.400 zone here. Yeah. Struggled to find support there, only to rebound from that zone a little bit back up to a cluster of uh, standard line resistance there. The next zone there was what was been tested as a 15.239. Briefly found support there, rallied back up to the turning line of the cloud, sold off heavily, and now tried to find support at the other cloud chart support level of 15,000. Uh, that support zone also failed, and we're now looking at these levels down here for potential support in the uh, Xatradax. Let me just move that line back down there. We can see that cluster of support. So we're now getting to a cluster of support between 14.723 and 14.531. That's the support zone, but there's still downside risk to this top end cloud chart support zones. If I can pop a line in there, these are the downside risk targets, this top end cloud chart, 14.231. And if we back here, just looking at those levels, 
So that's the cluster of downside risk targets, 14, 531, 14, 231, and 14,000 on the Exetradax. Now, the point to note is we're quite far away from the uh, bottom in the cloud here, so we could get uh, mathematical mean reversion as we're getting a bit extended from the cloud, and then we'll get a snap back, may potential uh, November rally back up to retest this bottom in cloud chart resistance levels. But we did slice through pretty significant support zones here on the way down. So price uh, outlook remains bearish on the daily, price action below the cloud, so we can short the rallies and swing trade the rebounds from these key support zones. Now returning to the 4 hour Ichimoku, give a bit more taste what's going on intraday. See when we slice through this uh, cloud chart level there, the cloud became quite resistant zone there. And then another cl cloud cross with a significant sell there, cloud chart sell signal to go short there in the markets. Uh, in the DAX, a nice a strong rally to the downside from a bearish perspective. Only to rebound there and then fight for uh, resistance at the top end of the cloud, yeah. And then the taps kept on opening. So there was various sell signals to the short side, yeah. Uh, on the um, on the cloud, the cloud crosses, as well as the significant sell signals from an Ichimoku cloud chart sell signal there on the four hour. So where can this rally uh, find support? Testing once again between 14,723, 14,531 and 14,231. These are the downside support targets in the uh, current correction in the Xetradax. But back to the daily, what we're looking for is potential support to come in between this 14,723 and 14,531 for a swing trade back up to the bottom end of the front end of the cloud, yeah, uh, back down up to 15,400. So that's kind of the trading range we're looking for. We're watching very closely if the Xetradax will find support at this cluster of support, cloud chart support levels after this uh, very strong seasonal correction in its September, October uh, downside seasonal uh, weakness in the market. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.